Yeah, so that was also a kind of a pivotal moment for me. Even though I'd had health issues in the past, they were always more like physical, more mechanical, if you will. But when your doctor suddenly tells you you have cancer, I don't know, I found it scary. My wife did too. Afterwards, did all the treatment, recovered several exams, said, okay, you're good, you're good. When the time came and, and the doctor said, you can go back to work now, because I was off work for several months. So I said, okay, that's good, but I'm not going to go back to work. And I'd given my, my boss a heads up. I, she's a great lady, and, and we're still in touch quite regularly. Uh, I had given her a heads up, said, you know what, I may not come back. You might want to start thinking of something else here. Um, and there are people who, who you know, have really great, great jobs, great paying jobs, and are miserable because they don't like it. I liked what I did before, and it's not that I didn't like it. Everybody knew I loved my job, and I loved my team, and, and you know, I got tremendous cooperation from them. But I knew that after my cancer treatment, and it has some impact on your health, I couldn't continue to run big teams and also maintain my health. So I had to make a choice. So you know, my, my priorities are you know, to continue to work and contribute, but I also want to take time to stay healthy and enjoy life. And those priorities should be everybody's priorities. And to me, I hope my legacy is that I've helped people be their best. Right? So not, not that I had sports cars, which I did, uh, or that I traveled all over, practically all over the world, which I did, but that's not going to be my legacy. I hope my legacy is that I help people be their best. <laughs>